Right, let's look at another example of a calculation. Right, if we look at this calculation, we are given copper to react with silver nitrate. So they tell us how much copper we have, and they tell us how much silver nitrate we have. Now remember, to do this calculation, I need to have a balanced chemical equation. So I need to go and count my um, particles. So if I go count the particles, I see that I have one copper on the left, I have one on the right. Now normally, it's best to start with your oxygens and sort them out first. So when we look at the oxygen, shall we see that we only have three oxygens on the left. So if also look at it like this, I only have one nitrate, see? I put it in brackets for that reason, so it's easier to see it. So I have one nitrate on the left and I have two on the right. The only way that I can make the nitrates to be two as well is if I put a two in front of the silver nitrate. But now that two is also applicable to silver, which means my silver will also become two. If I go and count all my particles, now I see that it's now a balanced chemical equation. Now when there's nothing written in front of the particles in the chemical equation, it means that there's one. So I'm putting the one in so that you understand that there's one. That, that means they will be in ratios of one as to two. It doesn't mean zero, it means one. Okay, so the next step is, I need to go and identify what do I have and what am I going to use. So they're telling me that I have 34.5 grams of copper. So copper, this part over here, I have 34.5 grams of this. Then the other part that I have is this one over here. And I have 70.2 grams of that. Now it says according to the following reaction, there it is, what is the maximum number of grams of silver that can be produced? So we are looking at silver. How much silver can be produced from this chemical reaction? So I need to go calculate the molar masses of those three particles. I would have to go and find out what is the molar mass of copper. So that's quite easy. I'm going to try and put them in a different color. Let's use pink for it. So for copper, it's straightforward, it's easy. Copper is just one element on the periodic table. And I see that the molar mass for copper is 63.55 grams per mole. For silver nitrate, now silver nitrate is consisting of silver, nitrogen, and three oxygens, Ag, NO3. There it is. So that means I would have to take one silver, which is 107.9, I would have to add it to the one nitrogen, which is 14, and then add it to 3 times 16, because there's three of them, and one is 16. That is going to give me 169.9 grams per mole. The last one that I'm going to need is silver. Now, silver is quite easy. It's just one element, so the molar mass of silver is going to be 107.9 grams per mole. Straight off the right table. There's nothing to add because there's one, only one silver. Now, remember, when we work, look at molar masses, we only use the formulas. We're not worried about the coefficients in front of them. Right, now I can start my calculation. Uh, to find out how much of the silver is produced, I need to find out which one of these two is going to be the limiting reactant. So I will just start with this one on the left and I'm going to compare it to silver nitrate. I'm going to take copper and compare it to silver nitrate. So I'm going to forget about, I'm not going to worry about that mass now because I'm going to compare it with my answer. So what do I have? I have 34.5 grams. 34.5 grams of what? I have 34.5 grams of copper. To do this calculation, I must find out how many moles of copper do I have. Then I need to find out how many moles, how many moles of silver nitrate 
is that going to be? How many moles of silver nitrate will I then use? Because I know the ratio in which they stand. One is to two. So for every one, I will need double the amount of silver nitrate, double the amount of moles. Now when I know how many moles of silver nitrate I have, I can find the mass, the grams of silver nitrate. Right? Now I've got that done, I can see what I must have at the bottom. So if I have grams of copper on top, I will have grams of copper at the bottom. If I have mole of copper there on the top, I must have mole of copper here at the bottom. And if I have mole of silver nitrate at the top, I must have mole of silver nitrate at the bottom. So now it's easy for me to go put my values in. Right, so to find out how many moles of copper, I use the molar mass of copper. So I will use this. And I see that one mole of copper is 63.55 grams of copper. For this part in the middle, I will use my mole ratio. So how many moles of silver nitrate do I have? I have two. And how many moles of copper is that? One. Then a ratio of two is to one. So that means this is the, it's a mole to mole calculation. If I have so many grams, I know how many moles of copper, so I use the mole ratio to find out how many moles of silver nitrate is that going to be. So now that I know how many moles of silver nitrate I'm going to use in a ratio of 2 is to 1, I can put that into mass, and I will use the molar mass of silver nitrate, which says 1 mole is equal to 107.9 grams. Go and calculate this, and I see that I will get an answer of 76.2 grams of silver nitrate. Now, if I look at this, 34.5 grams of copper will need 76.2 grams of silver nitrate. Do I have 76.2 grams? Whoopsie, no, I do not have enough. I have too little. Having too little means that Silver nitrate that is not going to be enough, that is too little, is in other words the limiting reactant for this chemical reaction. That means that copper is going to be the excess reactant. So to find out what is the maximum mass of silver, this part that can be produced here, I will compare the limiting reactant, which is this one over here, with this product. I can only find out how much silver I have by finding out which one of these two was going to be used up first. So by doing this comparison here to see how much silver nitrate do I need if I have 34.5 grams of copper, I see that I do not have enough. My silver nitrate is going to get used up and then there will still be some copper left over. I do not have enough. The one that I don't have enough of is the one that's the limiting reactant. The one that I have too much of is going to be my excess reactant. So I'm going to have too much copper left over. Right, so to find out exactly the mass of my product that's going to form, that means I will have to take this 70, 70.2 grams of silver nitrate and do the calculation exactly the same as this one to see what mass of silver I'm going to have. So I'm going to work with silver nitrate and silver. So exactly the same as this. If I have so many silver nitrate I'm going to find out how many moles how many moles of silver nitrate is that going to be? When I know how many moles of silver nitrate it's going to be, I can go and work out how many moles of silver will that produce. And then I can go and see but how many grams of silver will that be. So I have so many moles of I've got this mass of silver nitrate, which is given to me there. And because it's, my, because it's my limiting reactant, I will use this one to find out how much silver. So 
how many how many moles of silver nitrate do I have that will be able to tell me how many moles of silver it's going to produce because I know the ratio between them which in this case is 2 as to 2 and then I can work out how many grams of silver that would be so now I can know, quickly put what is going to be at the bottom so if there's grams of silver nitrate at the top there I will have grams of silver nitrate at the bottom if there's mole of silver nitrate at the top I will have mole of silver nitrate at the bottom and if I have mole of silver at the top there I will have mole of silver at the bottom now I can put in my values and see what is my answer going to be so I will use my molar mass of silver nitrate which I worked out over here by adding all the particles together and I see that for one mole of silver nitrate I have a mass of 169 169.9 grams then to get my mole of silver I will look at my mole ratio between silver nitrate and silver so silver is 2 and silver nitrate is also 2 so I see that they're in a ratio of 2 is to 2, which means I can ignore that part of the calculation because it gives me 1. And then my last part here is my molar mass for silver, which I got over there, 107.9. And again, I remind you, we get this from the periodic table. We add all the molar masses together. So I see that 1 mole of silver is equal to 107.9 grams. If I do this calculation, I see that 70.2 grams of silver nitrate is going to produce 44.58 grams of silver. And that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, sorry, oh, ladies only, and that, ladies, is the final answer this calculation. Thank you.